Shalom, shalom. Shalom. With the Hebrew Israelite, you know, he's coming out week in and week out to chant down Babylon, okay? And to bring the gospel, which is the good news for our people, man. For our people, okay? The so called black and the so called Hispanics, all right? The Latinos, all right? The originals of the America of the Americas, of America as a whole, not only North, but South, mm -hmm. all right? So before we start, you know, before we start bringing our good vibration to Tarnif, we'll turn to the East, and we'll give our praises. Yahweh, Ba'ashev, Yahushai, Waha, Raka, Wadash, all right? Double honors to the elders and the apostle of GMS who teach and rule well, Peace and salutation to the brothers doing the work, you know, in the four corners of the earth. And shalom to the brothers and the sisters who are with, awaiting the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, all right? Obviously, as you know already, we tend to, you know, have our own lesson ready, you know, to um, teach the brothers who are online and those, you know, who the most time have prepared you know, for, 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 for election, you know, for the election, you know, to come and listen to it or something like that, or, you know, if anything, we prepare stuff, but we're gonna, you know, um, prophesy to the winds, because that's important as well. But, you know, the most side, the spirit always, sometimes take us somewhere else, right? Yeah, yeah. But we will attend today to, um, you know, do the lesson that I prepared, man. You know, for the for the for the for the learning, for our people to learn, for our learning. All right. So, you know, the the, the lesson, you know, has to do with what's going on right now in Israel, man. You know, has to do right now with what's going on in Israel. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of you know of wayward doctrines. You know, that has nothing to do with the truth, right? But that's because, like I always say, the prophecy or the seven churches are manifesting. They're manifesting and different churches have different ways of seeing the gospel, different ways of preaching the gospel, all right? So now, the title is, The Have Your Way Doctrine is Like Leaven. It becomes your, your idol, man. You know, a lot of brothers, you know, come out of nowhere and bring, you know, doctrines that when you check it, you know, have nothing to do with the truth. All right? Go to um, John 8, John 8 and 32. Let me see what it says quickly, man. You know? We have to be in the parameters of the truth. You know, we have to be in the paradigm of the truth. Let me see. Right. So, verse 31 first. Oh, verse 30, 32. Let's read it. Bring that out. This is John, chapter 8, verse 30. As he spake these words, right? Then he believed on him. Right. And so, when we come in this truth, that's because we believe in Yahweh Shai. We believe in the doctrine. We believe that we are the Israelite that the Bible speaks of. And we believe that the Most High wants us to come back. All right? So we believe. All right? And to be, when you believe someone, you tend to, you know, follow the orders, man. Follow his orders. Follow, try to implement his teaching in your life. All right, carry on. Verse, verse 31. Right? Then. Uh -huh. Said Yahweh Shai. Then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews, to those Jews which believed on Him. Who, hey, but brother, do you know that you're an Israelite? Do you know that you're an Israelite? No. Have you ever heard that you're in what country are you from? Huh? Oh, I'm shy, man. Shy. Are you shy? Come on, man. Where, where, where are you from, bro? <laughs> See, we can't speak English, but. They can speak. You probably, you probably even a Caribbean, because some of the Caribbean look like nah, yeah, West yeah. African. 
Some of them, like I've seen a lot of but them. But it looks like it's Ghana or something. Right? You think so? I've seen West Africa, but anyway, carry on, man. I read it, man. I try, I'll try to wake the brother up. But a lot of brothers are shy, man. I don't know what it is, man. To come out of that, of that spirit, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, this is not the time to be shy. Carry on. Verse 31. Right? Then said Jehovah Shai to those Jews uh -huh. which believed on him. Right? Uh, yeah. If the other nation uh, kind of know, their spirit know what's up. Uh -huh. But our own people, they just have that, that, that so dead many. spirit on them. It's crazy, man. Trust but ultimately it's the curse. But that's why we're out here to let brothers come out of that. Trust me. Away, isn't it? Away come out. out of that. Dead state. Yeah. So we all been through that dead state. Of course. You know, nonchalant, you know, you know, timid and but that's not the way to go, man. We men of war, we we Israelite, man. We're the conquerors of this earth, man. You know? Rulership is not for the timid. You know, hello my sister. Do you know that you're an Israelite? Hello, sister. Have you ever heard that you're an Israelite? Sure. There you go again. Alright, read it, man. Let's go. If ye uh -huh. continue right. in my word, uh -huh. then are ye right. my disciples in feet. Right, so if you continue in my word, then what? Then you are my disciples in feet. Right, so see that term continue. So when you come in this truth, you first learn the truth. But so it's one thing to learn the truth, but it's the next thing to carry on with the truth that you learn. You can't be learning truth, and then next thing, you create your own righteousness, like these pastors do. When I came, were, I don't even know he left. Today? Yeah, there's a guy that left, mm -hmm. talking on the mic like, you know, you, there was no presence, there was no life. Because the Holy Spirit do not work with these pastors, man. And a lot of them go and see the voodoo priest. Mm -hmm. We know that, we know about this thing, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of these pastors, they go and see the voodoo priest, and I say, oh, we got a miracle. We got this. They ain't got no miracle. They're working. They're taking it from the left hand side. The men of the Lord have the Holy Spirit on them. Mm. That's why we're so bold and we speak the truth, man. Before adversity, before the enemies, knowing that it's gonna pull up, it's just gonna roll up on us at some point. Mm. But we we couldn't care less. Why? Because we believe in the report. So read it again. Verse 32. Yeah, 32 and then, no, 31 and you jump to 32. This is John chapter 8, verse right. 31. Mm -hmm. Then said Yahweh right. Shai. Then said Yahweh Shai. To those Jews. To those Jews. Which believed on him. Right. We believe on him. But brothers in the camp. Mm -hmm. Brother watching the videos on YouTube. Brother following, starting to run, wear fringes. Brother keeping the Shabbat. You know, brother starting to know who they are as Israelite. Carry on. If you continue, if you continue in my words, in my words, then are ye right, my disciples you see indeed. That? Right. So, you know, many people come in the truth, but those who are the disciple of Yahweh Shai are the one who keep in a hundred as far the sound doctrine. Are the one who don't add up, not take away from the doctrine. You see? Carry on, verse 32. Verse 32. Uh-huh. And ye shall know right? the truth. And you shall know the truth, right? And the truth shall make you free. You see that? And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yes, right, sister. Right? Come, come and learn the truth, man. Come and learn the truth. When you get time, come and learn the truth, my sister. You know? Yeah. She needs to feel the truth, not us. True. She gotta feel the truth. That's the salvation. The only thing she's gonna have to do, maybe, is to come under, you know, the men of the Lord, so she can learn. True, true, true. That's the only thing. But at the end of the day, the ultimate aim for her is salvation. Ultimately. Yeah. Ultimately. But this is not a joke, and other people will find out very soon that this is not a joke. We're not standing in the corner, you know, just because we want to stand in the corner, man. Mm -hmm. No, we on business. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we on business, man. We stay on business. All right? So yeah, read that last part again. But, you know? Verse 32. Uh-huh. And ye shall know the truth, uh -huh. and the truth shall make you free. Right. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So, you know, when you come in this truth, you learn certain things. 
And then when you see the world, you're able to see the traps that were put by Babylon. That's what the Bible says in Revelation 18 and 4. Come out of uh, my people, man. You know, so you do not partake in the indignation that's coming. So you do not drink the I, cup, man. This, I, you see? See what happened there? Yeah, of course. You're saying cool to me because we know each other. Right. I'm saying cool back and this is a... Right, 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 right. And that, that's the same thing I told you. Please don't say that. That's the say brother from Guinea. From Guinea. Yeah, so I'm last sorry. time it was brother, it was brother from, from Syria, Leon. Abdul Malik. Abdul Malik. And now it's the brother from Guinea, which you can clearly say the brother is a jig. So you got heathen that are stopping our people from reading the truth. But they're gonna, they're gonna get a fair share. This guy gonna be destroyed, man. That heathen that's stopping our brother from learning. Hello, my sister. How you doing, you okay? Do you know that you're an Israelite? Have you ever heard that you're an Israelite? Okay, now you know. You are an Israelite, all right? And this Bible is your history, okay? So when you get time, come and inquire, all right? Right, so. I want you now to go to what um, verse 33 now? No, no, no. I want you to go to John 4 and 24. Okay. John 4 and 24, man. Right? This truth, there's an order. <coughs> there's a format. Alright? There's a way to be in the truth, man. You can't create your own righteousness, man. This is you John. Chapter 4, right? Verse 24. Uh-huh. Yahweh right? is a spirit. Yahweh is a spirit. Now, a lot of these Christians say, yeah, but you know, Yahweh, God is not, he's not a man, he's a spirit and that. Yes, he's a spirit. The Bible says as well that he's a man of war. So Yahweh is a man and he's a spirit. Because when he described in Daniel 7, they say that he's sitting there on the throne. The spirit has no body. To be sitting there on the throne. No physical form. In order for you to sit down on the throne, you gotta have a physical form to sit down on the throne, man. It's not like this, they said his spirit hovering over the no. throne or on the throne. It says he sits. He's a spirit because the, the man that he is, he's a he's another dimensional yeah. being that cannot be around us. We are in this, you know, third dimensional plan, uh, uh, plane of planet. Right where we physical, he's physical, but you cannot see him. He dwells in the heavenly. Of course, of course. That's why they say God can be anywhere. Of course, the angels as well. They have a body, but they have spirit. They will pass. You won't see them, but they can manifest to you in the physical. But the Bible says he's spirit, right? Go know why he's spirit, man. Read it. Yahweh is uh -huh. a spirit, right? And they that worship him, and they that worship him, must worship him, must worship him in spirit and truth. In spirit and truth. Now, jump quickly to uh, I believe Romans seven and fourteen. Let me see. We're gonna break that down quickly. I haven't even stopped the lesson yet, you know. That's cool. I'm ready. I'm ready. You know, in truth, we don't understand what it means. What the Bible says, you know, because Christians don't understand that, man. We must worship him in spirit and truth. What does it mean? Alright? Right. Go to Romans 7 and 14. And let's see what that's it. What, 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 what is he saying? What is it? What is that Bible telling us as far as the truth? I'm just laying down the foundation for today, man. Read it. Romans uh -huh. chapter 7. Right? Verse 14, mm -hmm. for we know right. that the law is spiritual. For we know that the law is spiritual. So my question is this. If the Most High tells you that his spirit and those who worship him shall worship him in spirit and in truth, and then Romans 7 and 14 tells you that the law is spiritual, what does it mean? Worship him. In the law. Yes. Because the law is spiritual. And the law, is that, that's the, the law is the element that gets you in the truth. The law allows you to stay away from lies. Because what? Sin is the transgression of the law. Yes. So if you keep the law, 
you're in the truth. And if you keep the law, you become then spiritual. Let me finish it. Finish it. But I am carnal. And I am carnal. Sold under sin. Right. That's it? Yes, it. Right, sold under sin. So that's that's our our, our state. But at the, at the end of the day, we're all carnal. Obviously, we're in the body, isn't it? Obviously, we've got a spirit. We have to we have our own spirit in us. So if we keep the law, then obviously we're spiritual. What happens is that in us. right. So when you keep the law, what happens is that you put your members in subjection, and your spirit rise. So your spirit is then connected to the spirit of the Most High, of the hour. Mm -hmm. that, so, so, so the, the, the spirit in you, mm -hmm. because there's a battle between your so, flesh and your spirit. Of course. So, if you are able to put your your flesh in subjection, what happens is that your now your your spirit rises. Because mm -hmm. your spirit is the part of your being that is linked and connect to the law, mm -hmm. to Yahweh. To the spiritual things, so if, if your spirit rule over your your flesh, yeah. you're gonna be a spiritual man. Because yeah. you ain't gonna be the reason why people kill, steal, do all of them because they are carnal being. Mm -hmm. they, they don't know their spirit is sleeping. Their spirit is is dead. Or maybe they know their spirit is trying, but their their flesh is all right. Obviously, yeah. The, the, obviously, maybe they're the spirit is trying, but the flesh is overcoming, isn't it? Right, well, and it's not, but that's why when you keep the law, what happens is that spiritually you become now stronger. stronger. You understand what I'm saying? You become stronger, man. Right, yeah, sir. Right? So now that we, you know, established that foundation, okay, because that's very important. Yeah. Now let's go you to... You can be righteous through keeping the law. No, you, 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 you are justified yeah. through the faith in Yahweh Faith in But if you don't keep the law, Grace. what happens? You become godless. Lawlessness abides in you when you don't rehearse. You need to rehearse because that's what makes the difference between you and the other nation. You were given the law. You get given the law so you can become in tune with the, 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 the universe. Be tuned with the spiritual mm. and therefore be a superior being. Mm. I like that superior being. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you must practice, you must rehearse the law. But that's what makes the difference between you and the carnal man. Mm. That's what makes the difference between you and the other nation. Mm. You are training to be a real Israelite man. You are training to be a prince of Yahweh. Because Yahweh is a spiritual man, so you try to be like him. Mm -hmm. Yahweh is a spiritual being, so you try to be like him. Mm -hmm. Yahweh is a God, you try to be like him. Godly. Try to be godly, holy. Okay? But you are saved through the faith in Yahweh Shai grace. and grace, but you must rehearse. The law, over the, over, uh, otherwise it become like those other nations. Well, many people think that, obviously, because Jehovah Shah atoned for our, our, our sins through his blood, we then have, don't have to follow him. No, 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 the reason why is, you, know what I'm saying? you have to follow the law because, again, I'm teaching again you, I'm teaching you. The reason why he bled, okay, for it's turned for our sin because back in time we used to Sacrifice use war, lambs, right? Goats. But that wasn't doing it because that's carnal and yeah. blood that yeah. has limits. So the most have brought him so if we can have his blood, and his blood is more powerful, yeah. It's more, it's a very powerful blood that allow you now every time you sin to be clean in, in, the, in the eyes of the most high when you you know confess your sin yeah. Yeah. and when you repent, that blood teaches you how to be, allow you to be stronger to repent because now you're in the spirit mm. you're not carnal mm. you're in the spirit you understand that you see back in time how people will see and they will go you know and give the blood mm. and give the sacrifice atone for the sin it was mechanical it became mechanical but that blood now teaches you repentance 
because you are in the spirit in the blood of your own child. Mm. You understand that? Yeah. You learn now how to please your power through the blood. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Your blood covers you as long as you rehearse the righteous acts mm -hmm. of the Father, man, of Abba, of Abba Nawa. Okay? So that was the foundation, man. Mm. So that's the foundation. When you keep the law, right, when you realize the law, mm -hmm. then it's a spiritual thing because if you're really sincere, you cannot, yeah, but you cannot be beguiled by the spirit that comes and, 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 and whisper in your ears about doctrine, man. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about doctrine. Mm -hmm. We're talking about keeping a hundred. And it's true. That's where we're going with this. But I had to put a foundation yeah. as far as the spirit, as far as being truthful. Mm -hmm. Right? As far as having the, the spirit of the truth in you, man. Trust. So now, mm. go to um, Isaiah. Go to Isaiah 46 and 10. Go to Isaiah 46 and 10. I'll bring that out. You know? It's the book of Isaiah, right? Chapter forty-six, uh -huh. verse ten, right? Declaring the end mm -hmm. from the beginning, declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, right? The things uh -huh. that are not yet done, right? Saying, uh -huh. my counsel, my counsel shall stand, right? My counsel shall stand. So everything that was written in this beautiful book, in this wonderful book, all right? Every prophecy that was written. Or that was foretold through this book will manifest. So when you come in this truth, you just have to keep it like that. You gotta stay within the parameters of that truth. Don't add up, don't take away. Because everything is already set. You know, you know how you go to work and you, you, they, they, they're telling you, okay, I want you to do this job. But you, you have to do a job in the computer, but everything is, they have templates. And you just have to use the template and the formula. You don't have to add up nothing or take away nothing. Just follow the steps and yeah. get the job done. Yeah. Like a lot of this job, yeah, you need, a lot of this job I like that know nowadays. Mm. Everything is set, you come, sure. you just learn the, follow, the formula, mm. you just follow it, no problem. Mm. The minute you try to add up and take away, yeah. come problems. Yeah. You know, troubleshooting or whatever. There's issues, there's mm. issues. Why? Because you try to add it. Or you're trying to take away. Mm. Stick to the scripts. Right. So stick to the script. When you come in the truth, you got to stick to the script, man. Mm. And a lot of people don't like that. Mm. And that's what even Esau, if you see all these books, the book of Enoch, the book of Joshua, not to say that the book of Enoch, that there's, there is such a thing as the book of Enoch and the book of Joshua and Jubilee. But the thing is, the version that we have today is, is Jewish fables. These Jewish people, they just came out and they published some nonsense that are contract, uh, um, contrary to the Bible, all right? And then how people, why? Because how people want the juice. You know how you watch a movie and it's full of action and yeah. you love it, you want to watch series two, yeah. season three, season four, Oops. season five, yeah. because you're hooked on it. Yeah. That's what happened with that spirituality as well. You get hooked on things that have nothing to do with the truth. The, you see the Bible, you see, this truth is not technical, you know? Salvation is not technical. Just follow the script. Keep just simple. keep, yeah. just stick to the script. Mm -hmm. Just keep it simple, man. All right, so now let's go to... All right, finish it. Yeah, finish it, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go to the next thing, man. And right. I will do all my pleasure. Right? Yes. Right, and I will do something. I mean, the most I will, all right, will be manifested. You understand what I'm saying? So now, let's go to Isaiah 48 and free, man. Isaiah 48 and 3 and let's read the words while our people walking around like 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 headless chicken man not knowing what's coming that's free yeah? you know yes verse 3 it's the book of Isaiah right chapter 48 uh -huh. verse 3 right I have declared I have declared I have declared the form of things the form of the form of things oh. so the most of everything that's going on right now hello that's my sister that. Shalom, my sister. You know that you're an Israelite? Right. That's beautiful. Beautiful. So how people are waking up, man. You know how people are waking up. Right. The sister said shalom. 
You know, Kwame Yashirala, Kalayabla, Yahawa, Bashan, Yahawashai, Waha, Raha, Kodash, right? Shamai, Yashirala, Yahawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahawa, Ahad, Shamai, Yashirala, Yahawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahawa, Ahad, Shamai, Yashirala, Yahawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahawa, Ahad. All right? Kwame Shirala, man. Kwame Shirala. So our people are waking up. So the job that we're doing, not in vain. Okay? The most high is not a man to lie, man. Yahawa Bashem Yahushai is not a man to lie. And I'll bring that out, man. Isaiah chapter 48, verse uh -huh. 3. Right? I have declared right? the former thing right? from the beginning. Right? And they went forth uh -huh. out of my mouth. Right? And I shoot them. And when you say I went from out of my mouth, who is the mouth of Yahweh? The prophets. Oh, he must roll. Obviously, on top of it, on top of everything. But the prophet are the one, man. We don't want to go in out there and that the, 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 the Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, they did the work, man. And they're back again this time doing the work. All right? And it's the same thing. There's nothing new under the sun, man. All right? That it is, that it, no. That what, that what is today has been in time of old, time of old. Roughly, you know, so, I mean, roughly paraphrasing. All right? Bring that up. And they went forth uh -huh. out of my mouth. Right. And I shoot them. See, so he showed them, he manifested it. Things happen. I'll give you one example. The Deuteronomy 28 and 68 has happened. How people went into slavery, man. If you go in the Bible, you see a many more pre uh, 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 prophecy got manifested. Okay? Bring, bring it out. I did them suddenly. Right, you see that? And when it comes, it comes swiftly, like in 2020. It happened swiftly. You woke up in the morning and things changed. That's, and things changed. That's how the Mosai, you know what? That's why he says, Yeah, I wish I say, I, I will come like a, like, like, like a thief in the night. You know? Carry on, my lad. And they came uh -huh. to pass. And they came to pass. So a lot of prophecy came to pass. A lot of prophecy are coming to pass. A lot of prophecies will come to pass. So we have to stick to everything is already written. You know, we ain't we ain't creating nothing new, man. Don't be too slick with it, man. Don't be too slick with it, man. Just be humble and whatever you know, a uh, 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 position you were given, you were given, you were given. You know, that's what you don't. That's what you don't fulfill. You know, that's what you don't play, man. Whether it's script you were given, that's what you play. Okay. That's it, man. Right. Now let's go to um. Right. That's right. Let's go to Jeremiah 48 and 10 now. You know, which is a very powerful, very powerful precept, man. Tell me, man. You know. Jeremiah 48 and 10. Bring that out. This is the book of Jeremiah. Bring that out. Chapter 48. Yes, bro. Hey, my bro, do you know that you're an Israelite? Israelite? Have you ever heard that you're an Israelite? Right. That's right, man. Hey, but we have to keep the law, though. We have to keep the law on the most side. That's, that's why we went into slavery. Yeah, yeah. Because we need to keep it, so we have to learn to keep it, man. Eh? Alright? Shalom, on, bro. Shalom. On. Yeah, my lad, keep that up. This is the book of Jeremiah, uh -huh. chapter 48, right. verse 10. Uh -huh. Thus be he right. that doeth uh -huh. the work of the Lord uh -huh. deceitfully. You see that? So you can't do the work of the Lord deceitfully, man. You can't change the, 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 the way it is written and the doctrine. You can't bring your own thing. It's very dangerous, man. The most I would do something. He will warn you, warn you. If you carry on, he will do something, man. Brother, I need to be careful with this shoe. This is powerful, man. This is ancient wisdom, ancient code, ancient keys, man. That's what that 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 wisdom is the one that made you know Solomon be up to this up to this day a man of renown. And even his father, yeah. David, that's the wisdom. They have that wisdom. 
That's what I Moses, Abraham, you know, Jacob, no one, all of them, they have that wisdom, man. So you can, this is not a joke. This is something that when you take it, you gotta be even in West Africa, where people are ordained to be priests of the spirit. They, they, they don't do what they want, you know. Some of them, every Thursday, they can't touch women. Mm. Yeah, I've been, I've been, I don't know them things, man. Mm. Every they can't, they, they, I don't know. That's between the covenant they have with that spirit, that's what that's, it's like that's the Shabbat for them. Oh, that's Shabbat, yeah. Well, that's their Shabbat, man. You see, the left hand side mm. copy the right hand side, man. Right hand side, you can't go wrong with right. 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 I say what I'm saying. <laughs> right. So they're scared, they say thing you don't do, man. Mm. So why should we play with the right hand side? The people on the left hand side don't play with it. We shouldn't play with it away. We with it on the right hand side, man. Because there's consequences to this thing. You know? Is there any more now? And curse right? be he uh -huh. that keepeth back. And curse be he that keepeth back, yeah. The sword from blood. The sword from blood. And the sword, mean? the sword in that yeah. context, in that context, the sword is the word of the Mosai. Yeah. Go quickly. We're gonna get back to that, but go quickly to keep the word from blood. Yes, keep the sword from blood. Meaning, you if the Mosai tell you to do something. Say something. <laughs> If he sends you some, if he sends you on a mission, I will do it now, it? Because the sword, what does the sword do? Makes you physical, what does it do? It cuts. Yeah. Right? Super so that's, yeah, yeah, so he's saying that. If you do the work, and the sword fig uh, figuratively mm -hmm. is what? The words. Mm -hmm. I'll show you that. Go. Hebrew 4 and, 4 and 12, man. Okay. Hebrew 4 and 12. Hebrew 4 and 12, man. You know? Hebrew 4 and 12. We're going to learn about the sword today. Yeah, yeah, church tomorrow. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I know. This is Hebrews mm -hmm. chapter 4. Right? Verse 12. Uh huh. For the word of Yahweh right? is quick. Right? And powerful. Right? And sharper than any two. And sharper than any two. To and sword. You see that? Yes. Right? Carry on. Piercing, uh -huh. even you see that to the dividing mm -hmm. asunder right. of the soul uh -huh. and spirit, uh -huh. and of the joints mm -hmm. and marrow, right. and is a discerner uh -huh. of the thoughts and intents right. of the heart. What go on, Jess? Take care, man. Right, cool, brother. Take care. Take care. Shalom. All right, man. Love, my brother. Love, love. And is a discerner uh -huh. of the thoughts right. and intents. Is he the son of that pastor? Yeah. That, that tall guy, yeah? Jesse, yeah. Like, that's his son, yeah? Yeah. They look alike, man. I don't even know the pastor. Like and, and is a discerner. I'm going to go in Hamad. I'm going to go in Hamad. He came here. Yeah, Jesse. Put, his father, man. Oh, yeah. I wear hard on his father, man. Oh, I wear hard I wear hard on his father, man. But I look up like this guy look like. Familiar. Yeah, he, that's like his son. I don't think I've seen this kind of person. He's done his toe, I believe. Is it yeah, yeah. Let's go. And as a discerner right. of the thoughts right. and intent right. of the heart. Right. See that? A discerner of the heart. So you can't play with this shook on him. Look, if you play with this shook, it's going to expose you. You're going to come and say some foolishness. People will know that, oh, this guy, man, he's playing with it. Mm. So you gotta be careful when you got a sword, you gotta train properly. Mm -hmm. Trent, gotta so train, you know? Trust you gotta me. train properly. You gotta you can't jump because it's gonna cut you if you play around. Mm. You gotta learn. You know, you gotta learn discipline. That's why the house shall call the apostle before they become before he sent them away, because the term apostle means to send away, to send away. Right. But before that, they were called what? Disciples. So they had to learn discipline before they go out. So, you know, sometimes this should be happen fast, you go out quickly, but why do you go out and learn discipline? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't learn discipline, you will show at some point. You yeah. will show at some point. Yeah, man, it's hard. Life is hard when you don't have discipline. 
when you have discipline, right. that becomes easy. Right, and that's why it's hard. That's why the most I make you go through what you, me personally, I knew the most I wanted to show me discipline. So he took something away from me. But now I understand. Trust me. I'm cool, man. Because the spirit and the mind and the body get a uh, get condition to anything that they, they face. You know, any situation they go through. If, if you take if you take your 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 um, this one, yeah? Yeah, you, yeah and then yeah. every Not time, much. every time, yeah. every time, every time, oh. yeah, you get condition. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get condition, your body, if you hit something hard, mm. hard, mm. hard, hard, your this the, this this get condition to, to hardship. I mean to, to yeah. Yeah, give you your strong because because you know your body, yeah. your body has a, a, a muscle memory. Yeah. Then you come more. Right, brother? Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. my brother. Is it? I see myself because most of the time on my own, you know, like, I should tell my lonely guy. What are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, I'm supposed to be my own lover, you know, be able to be proud of space. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, I love, I, I love mine, but I learned that when you're on your own. But my point is, he can be easily a man of because he's been through that. When he's been on his own for so long that the truth will be easy for him. But a lot of, a lot of people, you know, bear the truth because they, they don't want to go through yeah. isolation. They worry what their friends are right. doing. Like, right. family. But he passed that, so. Right, so read it, man. Are you, are you done with it? Are you done with the Hebrew? Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, so this truth, man. So go, go back now to Jeremiah 4, 4 and, 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 4, and 48 and, and, and 10, because this is what it is. You can't be doing this truth. You can't be doing the work. You can't be doing the ministry. You can't be living your life in the sea. When you're in this truth, once you, once you take this truth, you can't. The most I tell you to do something, do it. Mm. You know, don't try to be too smart with it, man. Just follow the flow, be like water. Faith, yeah. You know, just have faith, man. Do what you're told. Mm. Do what you're told in this truth, man. As far as the doctrine, as far as the ways, do what the Bible tells you to do. Don't try to add up, you know, other things, okay? We read it, we read it already, don't we? Right, so don't worry about that. Yeah, if you read it already, that's, that's fine. <coughs> now, Let's go to First uh, Peter four and eleven. You know, because the world is here, we, we we tend to you know we want to go deep, but these these simple verses they don't want to help us make it, man. Because if you can know all the verses, but are you applying them? Mm. Gotta be able to apply them. I would rather start with the with the least one and try to apply them. And once I apply them and I master them, then I can go to the deep one. Mm. Because otherwise. It's like you try to skate the first time, mm. try to do some some little you know movement the it's first time, twist and turn and that. You gonna oh. you gonna you gonna hurt yourself, man. You gonna bust your head, man. Bust your head. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Take time, man. Take time, bro. Exactly. Take time, like slowly, slowly, slowly. So, but sometimes it's so tempting. You think that you can do some some little before you do it. You're you embarrassed this in front of everyone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what happens. When you want to be faster than what it is, you end up embarrassing yourself. You come with things that have nothing to do with the truth, man. But you start up good, though. Mm. You start up very good, but now you're somewhere else talking about things that have nothing to, nothing to do with the truth. You understand what I'm saying? So now, I want you to go to um, First Peter. Four and eleven. Yeah, four and eleven. This is First Peter, right? Chapter four, verse eleven. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh. If any man minister, let him do it as as of the ability which Yahweh given. Like that would be oh, you're not there. This is edifying still. This is good scripture. Yeah, I hope the brother can soak up some of the word. Of 
Right, so read it again, my life. This is First Peter, right. chapter four, mm -hmm. verse eleven. Right. If any man speak, uh -huh. let him speak. If any man speak, <coughs> let him speak as the oracles. As the oracles of Yahweh. Of Yahweh. If any man minister, if any man minister, let him do it. Let him do it as of the ability. Uh, of the ability which Yahweh gave him. Read it again, read it again, read it again. Read it again. Read it again. Because that, you see, yeah. we, we sometimes we will put it, we will say, first four and three, when we have a conversation with people, with Christians, we will say that. We will use this precept. But it's deeper than what is deeper. Also it's that. deep. Yeah, sometimes they will speak. You know, Christians, they speak without the Bible. So we tell them, yo, if you speak, we will take first four, first Peter four, in to tell yo. Use the Bible to speak. Yeah, you know, right. the oracle, but it's more deeper than just using against the priest, against the, the Christian. Mm. It's, it's, it's speak to us as well. And this is how I, I want to break it down to that, but I want to expand a bit on that. Yeah, so read it again. This is First Peter chapter 4, verse 11. Right. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles. Of Yahweh. Right, so if any man speak, let him speak. I love sister, you right? the oracle of Yahweh. You know that you're Israelite, right? She okay. doesn't know she's shy. It's not the really way you're yeah, shy. Shy. Now people are too shy. It's not even funny. They run away, man. You know, but if it's a pastor, come, my sister come, they won't because they've got issues that they want to be resolved. How people are so, that's why I have to stop eating McDonald's and KFC. Because when you eat, when you go to a McDonald's and you every time after five minutes, you've got your food, what happened in your mind that you want to, your spirit now, uh, and yearn for things, yearn for things that quicker, you, you want to get it now. The get it now thing. Mm. Oh, I'm going to a pastor. The pastor said, if I pray now, I'll have money now. If I do this, my marriage will be established, re-established, re restored now. Mm. You know, I will have this and that. The pastor used that, that psychology uh, that's a political defect on our people. But the Bible says that no, it, the most I want you to come back to him, learn his law, keep his law, and then you may be saved. Patience and faith. How people always talk about faith, but they don't even need faith, man. Because when they go to church, because they want Yahweh to fix something for them. When I go to church, because I want Yahweh to fix something for them. Mm. But when you come in this troop, because you start, you, you learn to love Yahweh. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Because the, the kingdom is in us, meaning we have all the blessings, all the promises in us as Israelites. But we must love Yahweh first. That's why he say, seek ye first the kingdom, man. And his righteousness. And his righteousness. And everything will be added on to you. And everything will be added on to you, man. These pastors, they will be the least in the kingdom. These Israelite pastors that are chatting shit, excuse me, my French, they will be the very least in the kingdom, man. Let's read on. Let's read on so I can capture my idea, my, my folk, my train of my train of folk. Let him do it as the ability which Yahweh given, that Yahweh in all things may be glorified through through Yahweh Shai. You see that? So, what does it mean? I mean your life, your walk in this truth, you gotta always link it with the words, with the doctrine, through Yahweh Shai. Not trying always to bring your own thing in it. Eh? And I don't even want to get into the example because there's, there's no point. Saying that the mark of the, 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 the MOTV is not a thing. So you, you adding, you're adding on to it, man. You're doing the work. Because what's happened, a lot of people, if you're a, 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 a head of the camp, what happened, a lot of people are listening to you and then what you're beguiling these people, man. You're lying to the people. But if you kept it, or if you kept it, 100%. Mm -hmm. The Bible clearly says in Revelation uh, 13, 16, and 17, there will come the time where they will try to cheat us all, man. 
If you go on the internet right now, they're very, even in this country, you can go to any place and get a, a, that little chip in your body. The RFID, the RFID in your body. You can't put it in your body, man. But yet they will say, no, it's sin. Oh no, it's sin. Oh no, it's sin. It's sin. If they say that the RFID, if they say that the, bar, the MOTV, which is the mark of the beast, they say that the MOTV is, 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 is sin. Sin. Yes. So if it's sin now, when do I know that I have the, I have the MOTV? If it's sin, how do I know that I have the MOTV? Because we're sinning every day. Oh, sin. Sin. S oh, uh, yeah. They think MOTV is sin. Yeah. Why? Because they're not connected to that, the simplicity of the gospel. When pride get involved, and you know you want to prove that you're the one, you know like how Jake, you know how you know how Mike Jonah came with uh, the dunk all the way from that, mm. from that he came all the this way like that, yeah. Like flying, he right? created something new that no one, no one, no one ever did before yeah. he did that. So you know everyone want to come and do their own thing. If you go to the the, 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 the dunk contest, someone want to do something that no one did the previous year. Freestyle. The same spirit that's in the truth. Yeah. People want to bring something new so that we can say, that, oh, this brother is deep, you know? Mm. Damn it! The brother is deep. He's the man. He's the man. No, but that's not the case, man. Be simple. Be because we are we 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 wearing the garment of sackcloth as a symbolic of us being down, needing, needing the most high blessing, needing the most high grace, needing Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Chai mercy. We need the tender mercies of Yaha, of, 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 of David. Mm. So we have to be humble, man. Okay? Now let's carry on, my lad. Mm -hmm. You finished that? No. <coughs> that Yahweh in all things may be glorified yeah. through Yahweh Shai. Through Yahweh Shai. To whom mm -hmm. be praised mm -hmm. and dominion. Mm -hmm. Forever and ever. Right, so Amen. a man. So a man. So when you read this Bible, whatever Yahweh shall say, that's why you should you shall follow. That's why you shall follow, man. If someone, if someone come and say, they come and say that oh, you know the Yahweh shall color don't matter, he's a liar because we know that Yahweh shall walk the earth. And when he walk the earth, he had a he had a particular what? color. He had a body. If he had a body, I mean he had a color. Yeah. So he, he you can't tell me say his his color doesn't matter. When you read uh, 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 um, um, Numbers 34, Moses is giving us the limitation and the, and the location of Israel. Mm -hmm. So if someone comes and tells you, oh, you know, Israel is not, uh, Israel is not, is not America. You know the line. Even you don't believe in the Bible, you think that the, 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 the Edomite put that thing over there in, 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 in Numbers 34, or even you're, you're bug out. To think that Israel is in, you know, in a, in in in, Africa, um, in, a, in 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 America or somewhere else, you know, other than where it is right now. Yes, the the that, that little Israel as we know it right now is smaller than the normal, you know, uh, limited the normal location. Yes, it's smaller, but at the end of the day, the Bible is not lying. So you have to stick to the script. Esau, who is Esau? It's easy to understand. All you have to do is look at his birth and what he looked like and look at the prophecy in the Bible and compare it to what's going on right now. You will know that Esau is the Caucasian. I mean, it's simple. You don't need to now try to say, no, no, you know, I think Esau, man. Esau is not, Esau is not a Caucasian man, man. So what about the prophecy? So you're going again, you're doing the work you see. Or a woman can teach you. You know, or, or when you come with a when when you come in issue with a woman, you know, if she doesn't want to be in the truth, leave her and go and get a woman that's in the truth. What does he say that? 
You gotta keep her, the only time you don't keep her is if she giving you trouble to the point where you know you can't even do the truth in peace. Then yeah, you separate from her. You're not you're not sinning it now. But if she's good with you, she cook for you, she loves you, she blesses you, she with you, she give, she take out the children of your home to the best of her ability, knowing that we're in this captivity and these women are not really 100 percent But they try, if she tries, hey, bear your cross, man. Mm. Don't come with new philosophies. The Bible clearly says, when you receive Rite 44, that the new moon is that crescent starting from the, the, the right side, going to the left. The more it goes to the left, you become all, you know, you become full. Yeah. That's the full moon. You mark eclipse and stuff. No, you know, like when you, the new moon, oh. when the new moon happens, you will start a little, uh, uh, like a uh, uh, crescent, yeah. a crescent, in French croissant, a crescent. Present. Yeah, see. Right? That little thing. Mm -hmm. That's the beginning of the month. But you got other camps saying that the full moon is the beginning of the month. So I'm almost confused. Right, now, saying that, go to second Timothy 2 and I believe 5. Second Timothy 2 and 15. But this is what we have to do in this truth, man. You got to research, you got to sit down and learn this truth. You can't just sit down and listen to some voice in your head and thinking, I know I'm going to come up with that. Oh no, I don't agree with what these brothers say, they don't know, I know better. No, humility, you know? Uh-huh. The second Timothy, right? Chapter two, mm -hmm. verse 15, right? Study to show thyself approved Unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Read it again. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2, verse 15. Study to shew thyself approved unto Yahweh, <clears throat> a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing. Right? The word of truth. See that? Rightly dividing the word of truth. So study. Yes. Study. Read. Study and learn from the from the brothers that really have this truth, man. You know? You got uh, 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 you got you got some Ken that's saying that Esau is Jaffet. That's not studying, that's not rightly dividing the word of truth, man. Okay? This is very important, otherwise you're going to come up with, with some doctrine that have nothing to do with the sound doctrine and what's going to happen is that you're going to now beguile other brothers, man. With your foolishness. It's foolishness. Alright? Now, I want, to, I want to show something to brothers as far as, you know, the disagreement bef before camp. Don't focus on that. Because first of all, there's, there's elect in all the camps. Second of all, nothing that we're going through right now is new. We are living the book of Acts the second time. The second time. So go to Acts 14. I want you to read from verse 1 to verse 4. I want to show something to the, to the brothers, man. I want to show something to the brothers. This is the book of Acts. Right? Chapter 14. Right? Right, sister. All right. Yeah, yes, yes. Acts 14, the knowledge, right? I need to get some of that soap off of me though. Sorry? Uh, no, no, I, 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 I got me focused, didn't I? Yeah, we, we spoke before. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Alright. I need to distract her as well, man. It's the book of Acts, chapter 14. I know her, she used to come here, she's from Algeria. I know no, 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 she's from Morocco, right? From Morocco, yeah. Morocco. She's got some nice black, black soap in my hand. Yeah? Trust me, I use it every day. This is the book of Acts, chapter 14, right? verse 1. Uh -huh. And it came to pass right? in Econ... In Econ... Stuck here. Read it from the top yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to show brothers about what's going on. This, the, 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 the misunderstanding among camps and that. That's been done before, man. What? The misunderstanding among camps it's not a new thing. Misunderstanding? Yes. Uh -huh. You've got IYC not liking, you know, GMS. Right. Are you the Israelite brothers? Yes, yes. we are the Israelites, yeah, man. Spain, Spain. Are you from Spain? Love. I'm from Morocco. Are you from oh, Morocco? Yeah, from 
welcome. You might be an Israelite. Respect. We are. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, because there's a lot of Israelite. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, Arab people yeah. in Morocco. Yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of Israelite True. In, in Morocco. The king of Morocco always kept African That's right. and Jewish people near him. That's it. This is a protection. The mosque, the mosque. Yeah, exactly. We're the Jews, we're the Jews. Yeah, we're the son. We are the son. We are the son of Yus uh, Joseph. You know? Oh! The, the, Jewish, the Jewish down there are the son of Judah. No, 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 no. These Jews are not the real Jews. Yeah, they're not the real Jews. They're not the real Jews. They're, they're imposters. Yeah, they're prophet killers. They're imposters. But, exactly. But if you, maybe, maybe you're falling from the northern tribe. Yeah, we are the real Semites, yeah. And much love. Hey, more power to you, man. That's the speckle birds. Speckle birds. Yes. My bro, take care, man. You see that? Speckle birds. The speckle birds, man. The speckle birds. You see that? You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, no, but his spirit is Israelite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spirit is Israelite. The spirit is Israelite. Spirit is Israelite. Let's read Romans 8 and 16 before we go back to these precepts. Let us read Romans 8 and 16. But this is what's happening right now. This truth is catching fire, man. And those of you who don't want to listen to it, you're going to see the judgment of Yahweh, yes, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Richie Rich. Because her power is a judge. Her power is a judge, and her power will judge those who don't believe. Hello, my brother. How you doing? You okay? All right, man. Blessings, blessings. Blessings. How you doing? I'm good, man. I saw you at Roman. You was on your way, man. Yeah. How you been? Ah, so sorry, man. I'm trying to lose some weight. Yeah, man. It's a walk kid, bro. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, I'm just going to flat. Yeah? So you got your flat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just doing the work. You might have seen that in my background about speech and the work. Well, man, let's go back there. Let's do the work. Let's, let's read it. Read Roman 8 and 16. I'm going to get my bus right now. Uh, you know. You see? Pull me up here. Look. Yeah. Talk to yourself. Yeah, look at number in here. Alright. Take care. Roman 8 and 16. Read it, man. Yeah. It's the book of Romans. Right. Chapter 8. Bring that out. Verse 16. Uh-huh. The spirit, the spirit itself, itself beareth, beareth, beareth witness, witness of our spirit, of our spirit that we are the children, that we are the children of Yahweh, of Yahweh. Okay, you see that? We are the children of Yahweh. Spirit, beareth. You understand that? That's the truth, isn't it? <laughs> the spirit. Bear witness. So the truth. So the spirit bear witness that we are mm. the children of Yahweh. So it's not necessarily the the, the outward appearance, the but inward. it's the spirit. the spirit that some people. So it might look like an Arab guy. My spirit. This way. Oh, yeah, spirit. Yeah, yeah, Come on, I need this from time. Come on, I need this. But his spirit is Israelite. Mm. You understand that? Yeah, yeah, the spiritual Israel, man. Right? right, so. So, time you shouldn't judge people now with the parents, isn't it? Yeah, you can't judge people now. Right, Acts, what are we going now? Now, go to Acts 14. Yeah, start at 1. 1 to 4. This is the book of Acts. <coughs> Chapter 14, verse 1. And it came to pass in Iconium that they went both together right. into the synagogue uh -huh. of the Jews right. and so spake uh -huh. that a great multitude, right. both of the Jews uh -huh. and also uh -huh. of the Greeks, right. believed. So the Greeks are the Grecian, the Hellenists. So the Greeks are the Jews, Hellenists. the Jews, but they left the Jewish custom. Yeah, they love the, the tradition. They only follow, just like over here you go, uh, British from yeah. Nigeria, Ghana, and you know, Ivory Coast, and Jamaica, the Caribbean. But they don't even know something about the country. They just no. English. All they, they, they know is London. All they know is London or yeah. whatever Britain. But they, are, but, they, but they are like jigs though. Yes. But, but I, feel like, I feel like I'm in that category a bit, but I'm trying to come back. Yeah, but I, I, no, 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 my point is, I'm just, I'm just using it. You mm. came back to your idea already. 
I'm no, just using it. Proper life with my people. Yeah, but you're an Israelite. Your people yeah. are Israelite. The, uh, 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 the Nigerian actor. Nigeria is the captivity that made them like The blood is not. And before that, the Israelite. Their blood is Israel. Their blood is not Nigeria, nor Yoruba. It's Israel. Their blood is Israel. Yeah, hey. Fundamentally, isn't it? That's what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, so carry on. Yeah, you have uh, verse, verse 2. two. Uh -huh. But the unbelieving Jews. But the unbelieving Jews. Stirred up the Gentiles. Now, my sister, do you know what you're an Israelite? Have you ever heard of your history in the Bible? Come and learn. Five minutes. All right, stay blessed. Yeah, carry on. Read it. Verse again, 2. Uh -huh. But the unbelieving Jews. Right? Stirred up the Gentiles. And exactly. Carry on. And made uh -huh. their minds. So evil. the unbelieving Jew, meaning the Jew that knew that the Jew. But yeah. But they don't they don't believe in the fact of what Paul saying. But what happened is that Paul was telling people that Yahweh Shai came for all of us. We don't have to go to the synagogue and uh, give a land for atonement. Yahweh Shai is our atonement. Mm -hmm. Alright, and also he came for those Gentiles, meaning those Jews who don't even know that they're Jews. They don't even follow the tradition, they're just living like Greeks. The most I want them too. They want them back into the fold. But these Jews, because back in time they say salvation is only for the Jews. Mm. And they say these people, the most I don't want them. Because but they don't follow they, the law. They want to set up to the most high. Exactly, but that's the mind of our people, isn't it? Mm. You got people in America, you got Jake in America saying that the, if, you're, if you're a Jake from West Africa, you're a Hamite. It's the same thing. Is it? Yeah. That would say that all oh, this group I should pick. If they see, uh, they'll say, brother, where are you from? You say Nigeria. Nigeria, they'll say, oh, he's a Hamite. They don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, come on. Same thing. So you see, there's nothing new. Talk spirit, man. Right? And these are the things that we have to stop doing. Because that was written for our learning so that the new the churches. Of this time, the latter church, this is the latter church, kind of like change things where they're better. You know how you learn from the mistake of your parents? And you don't know what a mistake the mistake they make? And you, you become a better person? We are the children of those parents in Atsu. So we are in Atsu. Again. You understand what I'm saying? Right, so read it. Acts chapter 14 verse 2 but the but the unbelieving Jews stirred up the Gentiles and made their minds evil right affected against the brethren right verse 3 uh -huh. long time right therefore abode uh -huh. they speaking uh -huh. boldly in the Lord right. which gave testimony mm -hmm. unto the word right. of his grace right. and granted Signs and wonders right. to be done by their hands. Right. Verse 4. But the multitude of the city right. was divided. You see that? Mm -hmm. uh, there was division in Israel, just like there is division oh, you know, in, in, in today. No, between, not only between north and south, uh, south but also between tents. You understand that even between camps there is division. And we have to change that, we have to make we have to make changes and be better, a better version of it. Okay? We'll finish off. Yeah, Karen. Okay. And part held uh -huh. with the Jews. Right? And part uh -huh. with the apostles. You see that? Apostles. Yeah. But previously. Oh, Paul, Paul, Paul. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. But and the, 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 the Jew that he met in Iconium. Iconium. Because there were people who always lived there. Like. What's the way to what, what land? Greece? Yes. Or Rome? Greece. Greece. Okay. Are people always living in Greece? Always living in Rome? Always living in Europe? Greece. 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 Our people were in Greece. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's deep. We got the Edomite Greeks. We got these. Okay. French Greeks as well. 
You might be changed, depend on the, yet again, it's the spirit. But it's how people are Turkish, simple Turkish. Even the Turkish people, the Cyprus people, our people from, our people used to go, Paul went to, to Cyprus as well, we always we went to yeah. teach there, our people. Mission, all, isn't it? Yeah. Asia Minor, all of that. Syria. I saw all the first churches were built. All of that, yeah. Oh, it's deep, man. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Turkey. Well, my friend, my friend obviously, is, is that white looking, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, it's like, you can't looking. just, yeah, but. But it's a spirit, might be Jake, isn't it? It might be Jake. A lot of these Turkish people are Jake. A lot of these Cyprus and Greek people are Jake. That's the reality, man. But I had in Greece, like, some of them are racist, man. Yeah, of course, because that's the new thing. That's the. You know, the, the, the Edomites are there now, so they say they're racist. And some are, some of them are even jinked, but because they, they, they have the the curse of them, that uh, leprosy, oh, yeah. Yeah, the Edomite skin, so they think they're, they're Edomite. You know, that's what it is, man. It's, it's about the spirit, isn't it? That's about the spirit. Trust me. You see? And a lot of people are not spiritual like that. When they see, I mean, they will see someone from Spain, and they'll be like, oh, you're like this brother that came, if he came to other people, Which one? the brother that came earlier, the Morocco brother, Moroccan brother. Yeah. If he came, to, if, if he came to, if he went to other camp, they would tell him, oh, you're a giant, you're not an Israelite. You're, you're just trying to be an Israelite, man. You're a heathen, you're a heathen. But they don't test the spirit. They mm -hmm. don't have the spirit. Test Therefore, it, yeah. jump to, jump to first John, second, second chapter and verse uh, 20. This is why we need to have the Holy Spirit, man. True. So when the Holy Spirit leaves you, that's when a lot of these confusions start to take place. First you know? John chapter what? First John uh, uh, chapter two, verse twenty. This is First John chapter two, verse twenty. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Action is that like a, a taste of anointing? Action, okay. Read that again from the top, man. First John, chapter two, verse twenty. But ye have an unction from the Holy One. But ye have the unction, meaning the Spirit working you, man. Yeah. The Spirit working you, man. I read it again. The Spirit working you. The Holy Spirit is yeah. on you. So you understand the truth, you understand the mystery of the truth. See? And let me read it one more time. Yeah. This is first John chapter 2, verse 20. Right? But ye uh -huh. have an unction. Ye have an unction, meaning you have the anointing, the oil, the Holy Spirit, you know? From the Holy One. From the Holy One. Alright. And ye know. And ye know all things. All things. So you know the, the gospel, you, you understand the truth. You know the gospel, you understand the truth. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you know all of those things, man. So, I mean, sometimes when I'm, when I'm learning something, whether it be driving or whatever it is, yeah, like, in my mind, I know what to do. So I have that, that, that. I know what I'm meant to do, but you just don't really clock it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, 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 come on, come on. Know what you need to do, right? You, you, just, you know what I'm saying? Actually, what anointing? Yeah. Anointing, the Holy Spirit in yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like what you're saying is like sometimes you, the Spirit is telling you something, but you can't capture it. And really but you know, but you're not yes, grasping it. Yes, you know that's the Holy Spirit that works. Yeah, yeah, Holy Spirit. Yeah, but you can develop it or learn to listen. Just learn to listen to it. Read, um, read more the Bible and pray more. Be true. Yes. Be one with it. No? Is it like when you like um like when them uh, guitarists when they're tuning the guitar? Right. They're like the tuning it. Right, 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 right. They can play it the they right. They can play it, they can play it. They got that, that key yeah, yeah. to really know when it's, it's off yeah. or when it's on, on, on in point. Tune. Yeah, when it's in, in tune yeah. or when it's off tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the, yes, exactly. That's, that's, that's the analogy. You, like you, you know the you, you know you're the sound that you you know what? Yeah. so when you have this Holy Spirit when something something the brothers think of a principle if it's off you will know that because the Holy Spirit is telling you 
Yeah. No, that's what man. Because spirit can't relate to it. Is it like when people look in certain rooms as well and they're like, no, my spirit can't take me? Yes. Like, no, 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 no. Like, yes. I've got a feeling like, yes. let's not go there. Or, yes. I'm not feeling this. Yes. Yeah. You see, spiritual. Trust me. Learn it still. Learn it. You know what I mean? It's not just the, the spiritual part is very important. For you to someone take something and say, nah, that's not really good. Nah, that's not good. Because you have spiritual common sense. You're able to discern the, the, the lies you know, from the truth, the fake truth from the real. The truth from the lies, isn't it? Right? So now go to, our, yeah. go to Genesis 29. Genesis 29, yeah? Knowledge of the the tree of the knowledge. Man. People don't understand how dangerous this truth is. I'll show you something, man. I'll show you something through the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Show you it. something. Yeah. Read it. This is Genesis right. chapter two, uh -huh. verse nine. Right. And out of the ground right. made the Lord uh -huh. Yahweh uh -huh. to grow right. every tree. Uh -huh. That is pleasant uh -huh. in the sight uh -huh. and good uh -huh. for food. Right. The tree of life right. also uh -huh. in the midst of the garden uh -huh. and the tree of knowledge uh -huh. of good and evil. See that? The tree of knowledge of good and evil. When I was on my way on the buses over there, I like, oh. See that? Yeah, man. You know what they mean? The tree of knowledge is the understanding understanding of truth and a lie. What happens is that there is a thin line between sound doctrine and because when you in this when you when you deal with the knowledge with the tree of knowledge you have one side on your right that's the truth you go right side on the left that's uh, the lies. It's not so, necessarily good or bad. No, I'm coming the tree of knowledge allows you to know what's good, to know what's bad. But on the flip side, if you're not careful, you're gonna be entertaining evil without even knowing, without even realizing that you are entertaining evil. Go to Ecclesiastes 12, 12. Now break it down. That's why you gotta be Whatever the most I give you, that's what you deal with you. Don't try to be smart, too smart for your own sake. No. Just do that said the Lord and keep it moving. That will help you because if you try to go too deep into trying to understand the tree of knowledge, you're gonna go. Because remember, the Bible says that we know in part and we know, we know, we prophesy in part and we know in we prophesy and we we know in part. Like I'm probably thinking about Adam and Eve, but it's on that path. Right, right, right. Yeah. Ecclesiastes. Huh? Ecclesiastes. 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 No, no, Ecclesiastes, not Ecclesiastes. Oh, yeah. Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. Solomon. No, no, yeah, yeah, that's a, I believe, after, after Proverbs. After Proverbs. Okay, yeah. 12 and 12, yeah? <coughs> yes. That's true. This is the book of Eccle Ecclesiastes. Right. Chapter 12, verse 12. And further, by these, my son, be admonished. Be, be, be warned. Carry on. Of making right. many books. Of making many books. There is no end. Right? You see that? Yeah, so knowledge. if you try to get too much in the knowledge, yeah. there is no end. I'm satisfied. You will never be satisfied if you try to be too much into it. If you don't follow the guideline, you're cool. If you try to go too deep into it, there is no end. You will never be because you want to know more and more and more. See all of these scientists, they, 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 they cuckoo, man. All these scientists, they, they, they lock themselves up in lab, uh, uh, laboratories trying to 
find uh, and the next thing and now they're cuckoo, they look like that, cuckoo. The brains are clucking. The cookiness, the cookiness, man. Yeah. Because yeah. you're going to burn out. Even doing this work, if you do it too much, you're going to burn out, man. Mm -hmm. You got to balance things out. The Bible says that a, a false balance is an abomination, man. A false balance. A false balance. A, ba a false balance is an abomination. Well, I need those skills. Meaning like, you gotta balance your life, you gotta do things, you know, just enough. Like, don't, don't overdo it. Be content, Be content with this, with the knowledge, and, and also, the most of Adam, like, you've been in the truth for three, four years. You're gonna know everything. If you try to know everything, you're gonna get yourself in a situation where at any day, you, you won't know nothing. Like, you know so much, you don't, to the point where you don't know nothing. True. That's what's happened to some brothers, man. True. So really, man. This is Ecclesiastes, right? Chapter twelve, verse twelve. Uh huh. And further, right? By these, uh huh. My son, right? Be admonished, right? Of making many books, uh huh. There is no end. There, there is no end. And much study, and much study, is a weariness. Is a weariness of the flesh. Of the flesh. When you try to get too deep, you're gonna destroy yourself, man. You're gonna end up going against the establishment, going against the authority, going against the truth, going against what, what if, the word, man. What, so what if, yeah? If you're studying, like, you study, you have much studies, right? And the flesh is weary, but you're in tune with the spirit, no. and the spirit overcomes no, no, the flesh. No, no, no. Think about it. If you study, like me, I, 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 I didn't study, study, mm. but I've been around people that are very studious. And as one of them, we were preparing the A level and thing like that. Mm. One of them, then the end, he had a, he had a, he had a situation where he couldn't, he couldn't even pass, he couldn't even give an exam because he ended up in, in hospital. What happened? He was Man, studying no. so much, though. He was studying so much that he couldn't now take on. He was his brain got tired. That's just one example. Burner. Right, on the spiritual side, if you're trying to know too much before your time, you will burn out. And you're going to come out with werewolf doctrine. Well, so you, werewolf meaning like false doctrine. Uh, werewolf. Werewolf. You know how it's Yeah. yeah. I know my own way of I'm speaking English out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know my own I'm speaking English, man. That's that's Judah for you with me. I create my own lane in English, man. How about that? You know what I mean? Hey, he's what he, he, hey, Jake gonna find a way to do his thing. I don't care if I wasn't born in this country, I'll find a way to speak the English, bro. That's what I'm saying. Hey, that's the Israelite. Oh, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So hopefully, brothers, we were edified, man. And hopefully we will learn a little bit. And you know that will that will you know that will teach us you know humility and not trying to go too deep. You're my sister. You're my sister. You want to learn something? Do you know what you're in Israel? Like, come, come for five minutes. Actually, two minutes. Do you know what, what country you from? Time, a little bit of time. What country are you from? What, what's your background? Jamaican. Okay, you're, you're in Israel, like you know that, right? Have you ever heard that? Your history is found in the Bible. That's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to teach you something for you. Because it will be beneficial to you when the time comes. So basically, it's time for you to know that you, you're not, wherever you are, that's what was given to you through slavery or colonialism. But indeed, your history is in the Bible and that you are an Israelite. Now, when you're an Israelite, for example, slavery came because of the fact that our people, who are the real Israelite, the real Jew, that went against the law. A law was given to us that we must follow. Some women, the women must follow a law, and men must follow a law. For example, one of the law is do not eat pork. Do you eat pork? Do you eat pork? Come closer. Come closer. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you eat? Waiting for somebody. That's fine. 
That's it. You know, and God works in mysterious ways. I think he works in stupid ways at the moment. No, but that's, see, it, it, it can be stupid, but on the flip side, it's mysterious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, my point is this. Yeah? Let's keep it spiritual. Yeah. So, get, if you read Leviticus 11, there's laws, for example, the law of the, of the dietary laws. Yeah? The dietary laws, it tells us that as Israelites, we're not supposed to eat pork, you know. Even prawns. Mm -hmm. I give, and, and you, know, you know what's beautiful? Knowledge and science are one. Because what happened with science confirm what knowledge is given us. For example, if you look at pork, a pig doesn't have the glands, oh. you know, the sweating gland, the pores. The reason why we have sweating gland pores is because as we sweat, we're taking out the toxin of our bodies. But if you look at a swine, a pork, a pig, he doesn't have that. So what happened that that toxin become uh, like worms. So when you eat, and that worms they have, they carry a lot of disease. So you see how people are sick, they always have high blood pressure, diabetes, you know, sickle cells, all of those sickness is related to the dietary, dietary law that they're not giving. That's one law. Right now you're beautifully dressed. Why? Because if you, if you think about it, us men we wear trousers, but how women wear trousers too. The reason why they wear trousers is because we are in this setting where we were given a certain, you know, tradition, right? But if you look back into our time, I mean, our culture, which is the Bible, the big, the Bibles are cultures that the European took it and made it their own version and their own way of understanding. But this Bible is our, is our book. So now you're wearing this beautiful uh, dress here. Yeah? That's how a woman's supposed to dress. You're not supposed to wear trousers. So these are the little things that for us, for example, men are not supposed to line up. You know how men line up and looking all cute and that. No, men, men of the Lord, we look rough. That's how, no, when I say rough, not looking like beggars are homeless, but we have the beers and that's the difference manly. for you. Yeah, that's our manly badge. All right? And uh, for example, Saturday, sa Friday, Sunday to Saturday, Sunday, we have to keep the Shabbat. And have you noticed a lot of the clubs they're popping on Friday, on Friday night, really? you know? Saturday night. So yeah. Friday night. Oh, yeah. Friday, Friday night. night. Oh, okay. No. Now I know. I'm meant to be going out. No, no, but you can go out on Saturday. Look, you know, you know, the, the sun, sun down, when the sun comes down on Saturday, that's the end of the Shabbat. So Shabbat, Saturday. So for example, I would say me, for example, Friday night, I don't go out. But if I want to go out, my bro, after like right now, once we finish, someday we can go somewhere and chill like we do sometime and drink something and things like that. But we respect the Shabbat. So sister, you have to learn this truth now. Do you want our channel? Do you want my channel? I can, so you can learn. Sure. Yeah. If you go on YouTube, I, I, will, I will show you my channel. I'm trying to tell you earlier, but... No, but she was, she was looking for someone. So you're oh. looking for your boyfriend? No, I'm looking for my sister. OK. okay. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Okay. Do, you, do you want me to teach you words? Do you want to know about this word? I can teach you if you okay, want. Okay, that's fine. Right, so, okay, first, let me give you my uh, channel first. Yeah, so that's Yahweh Shai. YouTube, yeah? Yeah, the, the channel, the YouTube channel, Yahweh Shai. The next. Hopeful, that's the one. See me get teaching to our. Okay. All right. And then take my number if you want, and I will teach you, I will teach you the word. to a party. Well, we're supposed to go out today. Okay. Well, I asked her if she wanted to go out and she said yes. Mm. But she's, she's, she's coming from Brixton. Ooh, 250, so. isn't it? 250, it comes this way. Yeah. That's a 250. Let me see if I can read it. What's your name? Julia. My name is Yara, okay? All right. So basically, that's, that's it. So we out there every Saturday because the most I put the spirit on us it's not only us if you go to Brixton if you go to Downston North not London <coughs> if you go to a lot of places like South London you will see even in, in America you will see people wearing this is how you used to dress back in time 
and the fringes, the fringes we'll say that. represent the law that we're supposed to keep because our people were so stubborn that that law, everything's like a token of the law. When you see it, you know not to like go off, but to see. So that's part of our culture. So we're wearing the, the priest have to wear that. That's what we do. And we're telling our people who they are. So whenever you're ready, I will, I will, I will give you a few teachings. Are you, what was your background? Are you Christian? I'm Christian. Right. I'm going to teach you the word, man. All right? But that's for us as a people, that's what we need. Okay? okay. okay. Take care. Take care. Take care. All right. So hopefully you will edify brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. you know? Our people are waking up. That's a beautiful thing. So we will be here, man. You know, Yahweh are willing, man. Turn to the peace. Our praise, praise. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Waha, Raka, Badash. Who are the Shirala? Abad, Babo. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Israel. Beautiful thing, man. This is huh? eventually yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurkin, man. Yeah. Babylon! Your system is falling. I say Babylon, your system is falling. Shalom.